Hey guys, it's Kate. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have another mascara review. This is going to be a review on the Bite Beauty Upswing Full Volume Mascara. You guys voted to see this on my community tab. I'm going to be putting up another like vote pretty soon about what video you want to see coming up. And yeah, so stay tuned. You guys can kind of have a say in you know like what videos you want to see on my channel. That's why I like using that tab to kind of involve you guys in the content I make. But um, basically in today's video, I'm going to be doing a, qu a quick little overview of the mascara. I have it on Sephora on my phone right now. Um, I'm going to be showing you the application, the wand, and then also of course wearing the mascara for eight hours so i'm really curious to see how this lasts throughout the day if you guys are new here welcome subscribe if you guys want to see more mascara videos i make many of them give this video a thumbs up if you're really excited for it because that really really helps my videos and i'm just going to get right into the overview of the mascara Okay, so first of all, the Bite Beauty Mascara retails for $28, mm, pricey, but it comes with 0.4 ounces, which I've never seen a mascara with this much product before, so that's actually like pretty freaking cool. It already has four and a half stars, so I'm reviewing this a little bit later. It says what it is, a clean, volumizing, flake-resistant mascara that delivers lift, length, and curl. Normally, mascaras have like a whole paragraph full of like claims on the website, but this one literally just has one sentence, the one I just read to you. So we're just gonna zoom in, that was a really quick overview, and look at the wand. Okay, first of all, this is my first Bite Beauty product I've ever tried, so I'm kind of excited. Here's what the wand looks like. As you can see, it's huge. Like, it's a very large wand. It does have, like, indent. And then the packaging is really nice. It's much better than the Tarte Mascara packaging. That was kind of cheap. This one feels just, you know, heavier and better. First of all, before I forget, there's only one shade of this mascara called Solid Black. And then also, in all my mascara reviews, I do leave an update in the description letting you know how the mascara washes out my face. Okay, so I want to start on my lower lashes. Oh, wow. Okay. So far, it looks like a pretty black mascara, just the wand's big. I'm probably gonna get this all over myself, but that's okay. Okay, I mean, it applies. It seems like it applies really easily. It does seem like it's a, like, thicker mascara. It doesn't seem super wet so far, but I don't, I can't really tell my lower lashes. Okay, so I did go off camera for a second and really kind of got in there, and it was a little bit difficult. I feel like the brush doesn't really separate your lashes, so it's easy to get clumpy really fast, and I also look down, so it does seem like a pretty wet formula because it just transferred very easily, but I'm way more curious about the upper lashes i'm worried about clumpiness because the lower lashes got a little bit clumpy we're gonna do like one lightish coat first i don't know i feel like i go in pretty heavy okay do you see how like the lashes are clumping together there it's not separating them i prefer like to see each not each individual lash but you know what i mean i don't really like when they all like clump together it makes me look like i don't have as many lashes but Okay, yeah. Oh my god. It's kind of getting everywhere because it's a super wet formula. Oh no. We're just gonna go in a little bit more. Yeah, I'm getting this all over myself, so we're gonna clean that up, but... I'd say that's probably one coat. Now, I don't hate... I definitely say there's, like, curl in there. I don't know if you can tell. I did not curl my lashes before this. I'd never do that before my mascara videos. You can definitely see it has some curl. It definitely, I'd say, volume. It says lengthening mascara, but to be quite honest, like, I don't know if I really see that going on. This is normally what my lashes would look like with a normal mascara, like, not lengthening. And normally my lashes would, like, reach a little bit higher with a lengthening mascara, like the Sky High one. But, you know, there's definitely volume, and I'd say it's pretty black, but I'm kind of mad about the fact that it's so wet that it just, like, kind of gets everywhere. It's also my fault for looking down, but, like, it, it's just, like, messy you know what I mean? I have absolutely no idea how a second coat's gonna go on here. I'm kind of worried it's gonna get clumpy, but we're gonna just see. Okay. Seems okay so far. I mean, it says flake resistant. It doesn't say, like, clump free or anything. Okay, I'm just gonna try to really go in there and separate those really quick, but I don't really want to go in with two coats, really, like, heavy coats, because, oh... Okay, so do you see kind of what's going on there? Do you see how clumpy that is? What I'm going to do right now is take a lot of product off the brush to try to fix this. Because <laughs> normally, if something happened like this, I'd go in with my CoverGirl Clump Crusher wand and just kind of like get the clumps out. But since this is a review, a review I don't want to do that. I took a lot of the product off and I'm just trying to like fix it. Wow, that's probably one of the most clumpy mascaras I feel like I've tried in a while, to be quite honest. I'm gonna go off camera and try to do mascara on my right eye. I'm only gonna go in with one coat, though, and we're gonna look at the difference. Okay, I'm currently applying this to my right eye. I already kind of, it already transferred on my lower lashes. I kind of wish, I think this formula, honestly, could be good. Like, even if the formula's good, if the brush is bad, like, it's still gonna look bad. And this brush is just a little bit too, like, clunky for me. Okay, so there's a mascara on my right eye. As you can see, there's kind of a difference. This was two coats and it got really clumpy. This is more like one lighter coat, but it's still extremely wet. So I'm gonna kind of let the mascara just dry for a minute and then we're gonna see if it comes off the skin. I'm really hoping it does because I have it everywhere. <laughs> okay, it's been a few minutes. So <laughs> we're gonna take a spoolie. 
Okay, yeah, I mean, at least a little bit of whatever, but it comes off easily. How wonderful. No, we are gonna, we're gonna look, um, we're gonna do an eight hour wear test as we always do. It's about 1 p.m. So I'll be back at nine and we're gonna see how this lasts throughout the day. But I feel like there's already like some um, flakes going on and it says flake resistant, but you know, whatever. Hey guys, I'm back. It's about nine o'clock and we're gonna zoom in and look at the mascara. Okay, I'm just talking low because <laughs> there's people outside my room, so okay. Here's what the mascara looks like right now. So remember, this mascara didn't claim anything about long lasting, but it did claim no flaking. So honestly, I'd still say there's some flaking now. There's not flaking in the normal spots. Normally I have a lot of flaking, you know, like under my eyes. And as you can see, like I don't really see any. I think earlier there was like one or two right there, but it did kind of flake like up onto my like eyebrow area. There's like some up there, but it does flake a little bit. And as you can see, the smudging is pretty apparent too. Um, This was actually there like a few hours ago. It didn't smudge as much up on my brow bone, mostly just looks like on my lower lash line a little bit. I mean, I'd say the mascara kind of dropped a little bit. I don't know if you guys can kind of tell, like it definitely doesn't look exactly the same as when I applied it. Here's kind of a final look at the mascara. I am going to zoom out and kind of do my final thoughts, like if I think you should get it, if, I don't know, and then I'll let you guys know down below how it washes off the eyes. Okay, so my makeup's definitely looking a little bit rough at this point, but whatever. Okay, final thoughts about the Bite Beauty mascara. I mean, honestly, if you're really into like clumpy mascaras, or some people are, I mean, it's really not too bad. Yeah, I did, I guess, smudge and flake. I'm just, I'm trying to be more positive because my last video about the Tarte Mascara, I really, sorry, it's my cat. I really didn't like the Tarte Mascara and I don't really like this one either and I feel bad. I hate always saying that I don't like products. I'm just very, very picky when it comes to mascara. If you guys watch a lot of the mascara comparisons on my channel, I have so many, I've tried so many great mascaras that are way better than this. And this one is just like hard to apply. I just don't really think it's worth it to be quite honest. If I'm gonna spend $30 on a mascara, like it has to be amazing for me to actually keep repurchasing it. But that is gonna be the end of my video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I think by the time you guys are watching this video, we'll be really, really close to 5,000 subscribers. I don't think we would have hit it yet, but thank you guys. As I'm gonna say thank you like a million times, but I really, Sorry, my, my cat's going crazy. It's like this late at night, she just starts like climbing up my bed and like going insane and running around. But it really means so much to me. It's so cool to hit 5,000 subscribers. I honestly didn't really think I'd do that for like a few more months. So that's really cool. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys want to see more mascara comparison videos. I am going to have a poll on my community tab asking you guys what video you want to see next. So don't forget to vote on that. And hopefully I'll see you guys three days from now when I post a new video.